If you haven't finished Algebra 1 by the end of 8th grade, it can cost you up to $20,000 and make it way harder to score high on the SAT. But most people have no idea what math level they should be taking to actually be on track for top colleges. So I'm going to go year by year and explain to you guys exactly what kind of math you should be doing if you want to be on track for an Ivy League school. Let's start in seventh grade. Now, this is a critical year because this is when most schools will offer the placement exams that will set the trajectory for every other math class you'll take throughout the time that you're in high school. So it's very important that you do well on those placement tests because otherwise you're going to have to catch up over the summer or by doubling up and it makes your life way harder than it needs to be. Next, we have eighth grade. Now, by the end of eighth grade, it's very important that you complete algebra one. This is critical because it sets you on a trajectory to finish all the math covered by the SAT by the end of 10th grade. And that gives you way more time to take the exam. So if you start early by finishing algebra one in eighth grade, you're going to be on a great track. Next, we have ninth and 10th grade. Now, I'm lumping these two together because that's when you're going to be taking geometry and algebra two, and a lot of schools will swap the order. And it really doesn't matter which order you take those in. It just matters that you finish both of those by the end of 10th grade. That's the point at which you'd be considered SAT ready, and that's when you should start doing SAT prep. If you have not finished both geometry and algebra two, you have no business investing in SAT prep, and anyone who tells you otherwise is just trying to waste your money. Next, we have 11th grade. Now, by this point, you should be taking pre-calculus or a straight-up calculus course. This is very important because it'll actually reinforce a lot of the things you learned in previous years, and it'll make it much easier for you to do well in the SAT. Keep in mind that the PSAT in 11th grade counts for the National Merit Scholarship Competition, which, if you win, it can be worth up to $20,000. So doing all the math early on makes a big difference because it gives you a huge edge on the PSAT. In 12th grade, it mostly doesn't matter which math class you're taking. As long as you're doing some kind of AP stats or AP calc level class, you should be totally fine for most colleges. And if you're not doing a direct STEM major, you don't even need to take a hard math class at all. Take something so you fulfill the requirement and you're good to go. And that's it. That's the minimum math track you should be following to have a good shot at Ivy League schools. And if you do more, it's obviously better. But let me know what math track you're on in the comments. And I'm happy to give you guys some feedback.